Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and this is your <laughs> photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by the super huger mega camera giveaway for 2022. That's right, it's back and it's better than ever. And by better than ever, I really mean it's the same great opportunity as before. This year, one of you will get the chance to spend $3,499.99 of my own money at Allen's camera on any Thing you want. And if you're selected at random and you own Fro Pack 1, 2, or 3, you will score a bonus $1,500 to spend on anything you want. And it's completely free to get entered and there's no purchase necessary. Just remember if you do purchase or already own any of the Fro Packs, you will score extra entries. To get entered for free right now, head on over to bit.ly slash megafro22. First up, people love to tell me I'm wrong when I say micro four thirds is dead. They always point to some little tidbit to support why it's not dead, yet they don't actually own a micro four thirds camera. So why don't you shut up? Speaking of micro four thirds being dead, last week Panasonic finally announced the GH6, a 25.2 megapixel MFT sensor camera with a built-in fan, 14 frames per second shooting in AF, S. eight frames per second in AF, C for stills and 75 frames per second with the electronic shutter. Again, all of that is for still photos. Now there's a full size HDMI port, tilting and articulating screen, 5.8K video up to 30 frames per second, 5.7K video up to 60P. There's a CF Express B and SD card slots and subpar contrast detect AF still. All of this will set you back $2,199 and be available sometime this month. But for real, how many micro four thirds cameras do you actually ever see in the real world or do you ever see on your shelf? Let me check. Exactly. Now everyone talked about how the GH5 is God, yet when we tried to use it here in the studio, it was more like Judas. What does, what does that even mean? Who wrote this? Damn it. Anyway, when we tried it right here on this set with a wide aperture lens, it looked horrible. It looked horrible because 800 ISO looked horrible and there was no separation from the background. This is not a green screen. You can't green screen this hair. It just doesn't work. On the flip side, we're using Canon's R5 with a 28 to 70 F2 at 70 millimeters and F2 and it looks baller. From a still standpoint, if I had to use a GH6 to do a shoot, I would make it work, but it would never be my first or second or third choice of cameras. I'd probably go to Pentax first. <laughs> now how about you? Will you get one of these? Exactly. I didn't think so. Oh, you're so salty, Jared. You're so salty. No, it's called facts. Fact is a term demanding an equal answer. Next up, Nikon potentially has a new feature that's going to differentiate their cameras from everyone else. And no, it's not better autofocus. Sick fur. Pew, 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 pew. Wow, wow. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, stop yelling at your screen, you Nikon fan people, because admit it, you know the Z9 that you don't own has better AF than the Nikon mirrorless that you do own. Don't say those words. So what's this new killer feature Nikon showed off at CP Plus in Japan last week? Dan, roll that clip, please. Hi. <laughs> 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 now, before we talk about that feature, I do want to point out a fashion faux pas that these guys have. They have a big Z on their shirt, trying to show off what they actually shoot. Who actually does that? Congratulations, you just spent $5,500 to have the ability to make your camera meow when you press the shutter. They also demonstrated the ability to select between older Nikon shutter sounds, which is kind of cool, but the cat's meow. Yeah, that's kind of useless. Now, Petapixel says this might be useful and gives us a few examples of how. And I quote, a baby or child photographer could choose to have their camera play silly sounds to make their subject laugh. A wildlife photographer could choose to play a certain animal's call while hidden in a blind to make their subject turn and look toward the camera. And porn photographers, well, they might use yeah, well, never mind. In terms of baby photography, is it that hard for someone to take out their phone and have it play a sound? Or to have the photographer stand there and be like, look at me, I'm a clown with an afro and a camera. Hi. Look at me. And then the kid's gonna be like, wah, wah, whatever. Do you wanna try to sit there again? 
anyway. Now, is this a feature that you would like to see in your camera? And if you got to choose what sound your camera would make, what would that sound be? And finally, why didn't anybody tell me that Canon was getting into the car business? Oh, that's right, because they're not. They're just offering two new lenses that could buy you a pretty nice car. Last week, Canon announced two new RF lenses, an 800 millimeter 5.6 and a 1200 millimeter f8. Now, if you're looking at these lenses and thinking to yourself that it looks like Canon just slapped teleconverters onto the back of a 402.8 RF and called it a day, I'd have to agree with you. Phone oh, call. I wonder who that could be. Hello? Oh, it's Roberta L with Canon PR. Oh, oh, I'm wrong? It's totally not a 402.8 RF with extenders? Are, are, are your fingers crossed right now? Hello? hello? Uh, she hung up on me. Again. Now for real, they say that it's different with some different elements built in, but to me, it still looks like a 402.8 with a bunch of stuff on the back of it. Anyway, the 800 millimeter weighs in at only 6.9 pounds. Nice. And the 1200 weighs in at only 7.4 pounds. And most likely if you're not me or this guy, you'll be using this lens on a monopod. If you want even more reach with both of these lenses, you can stack the RF 1.4 and 2.X converter and still keep autofocus. Just remember, you're going to start to run into atmospheric issues that might mess with your photos. Ah! The atmosphere. Both of these lenses will be available in late May with the 800 costing $16,999. Damn! And the 1200 millimeter will clock in at only $19,999. That's a lot of lettuce. Now if that won't work for you, you could always opt for the poor person's 800 with the 800 millimeter F11, which will only set you back a grand. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead, click off the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's where I'm going to leave it. Jared, polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.